welcome back so let us see how to create a map of australia so one more example so that you get proper practice of creating a map of any country you should have a data i have downloaded some data from wikipedia and uh, i have the name of states and territories in australia and what is the area occupied by them okay those states so what i'll do is i'll just copy this table okay now this is something different i will not import the file in power bi but i'll copy the data directly from excel and paste in power bi how do i do that select the data right click and click on copy so this is a very small table you can copy as much big table you have now i can go to this power bi and here if you see the option enter data here manually also you can enter data now i can click on this button enter data this will open a blank window i can manually type here as pune mumbai chennai or singapore any name but i have already copied the data so i can select that and press control v control v from my keyboard and the name of this table i can give as australia states australia area so i can say now that's it so you see the name of the column is state and here name of the column area if i want i can just click on that star button and start adding a new column with anything profit sales quantity anything right now i don't require so i can just click on delete button here now i'll click on load because the data is clean i don't have to edit that data after doing that the data is loaded but now be careful there is no connection with this data and the excel file because this data will reside in power bi now you see that's an australia areas simple drag the state and drop into this canvas and i can just resize that properly and you can see a symbol map is created now instead of using this symbol map this one is the symbol map i can select here the area map so i'll just click on area map and you can see the area is occupied for australia i hope the map is correct i try to copy properly here so it's very simple and easy to create a map of any country in power bi but i hope you have understood how to do that and that's all for this video